Hey designers and welcome back to Design School for WordPress Beginners. In this video, let's design a custom WordPress footer in under 2 minutes. You heard that right, right within 2 minutes. Let's get started and if you're new to this channel, consider subscribing so that you don't miss out on any new future updates. With that being said, let's get into it. Head over to Elementor, click on add new, select footer from the drop down menu, give it a name maybe important links footer that's what i want to name this footer you can name it anything and click on create template and wait for the elementor screen to load close this template screen as you don't have to click on this click on this add section button click on single section layout click on the plus inside the section and drag the sitemap widget right into the plus button and it has posts and categories pre-populated and let's add two more items under it under posts you can select post type and if you have posts or pages you can select anything in categories you can select various categories and other taxonomies let me change this to posts so this particular column will display only posts and let me change the category taxonomy so those are the most important links on my website. I'm fine with this. Let's go ahead and style this. The first thing that we want to do is to intend it. Sorry, indent it. Drag the slider so as to adjust the text right below the title so that it's perfectly aligned with the title. It's fine. Let's maybe give it a padding, 20 pixels. So that looks kind of compact. Let's give a title color. I'll give pink. Let me choose list item color. Um, or let's give the section a background color first. Click on color. Give it a back ba black background and we'll make the list item color as white. Click on the sitemap widget again. Head over to style again and change the color to white or any other shade of white or gray that will make the text pop out like this and that's great and let's give the bullet a color if you want I'm fine with white so I'm leaving it as it is and you can also choose the type of bullets that you want and if you don't want to have any bulleted points you can remove it and I think that looks great but indentation needs to be corrected mm, I think now it's perfectly aligned you can preview it I think that looks perfect now let's spice it up a bit more I'm happy with the circular bullets Mm, let's click on the section head over to style under shape divider click on bottom and select the shape divider so as to add more personality to it and let's give the shape divider a color a lighter grayish color so that it's kind of neat just like that and I need to correct this indentation even a bit more now I think everything's perfectly aligned. You can also click any item and you can choose post type or taxonomy and under post type you can choose post or pages or any other custom post types that you have on your website. And just click on publish, click on add condition, entire site and publish. That's it. There you have your footer. 